What's up guys? Uh, today is Friday and we're here before we open up. Um, but what I wanted to do before I open was kind of take you guys through and show you some of the corals that we got in yesterday's delivery. Now if I don't film this now, it's not going to happen. So let's get after it. Um, so the big plans, the big plans for this tank, um, one was to get a little bit cleaner, which I think we've kind of achieved that. Uh, two. We also thought that we were going to have so many corals that we weren't going to be able to possibly get any more up there. So we moved back here. Um, and as you can see, we didn't really fill it up too good. We didn't really fill it up too good. Uh, but we do have some pretty cool pieces in here. Uh, we've got quite a few of the neon green trachees. We also have a pink trachee, which I bought just out of curiosity. It's pretty meaty right there, that guy. A couple of frog spawns. Uh, we got that dude right there, as well as that one, and then two hammers. Um, so not necessarily the big, huge reveal that we thought we were going to get. Um, so we didn't really utilize this tank as much as we thought we were going to. I did happen to have a piece that fell into the water box uh, by accident. Actually, two pieces. Um, I don't know if they'll stay there or not, but they're there for the moment. So somebody bends my arm. Uh, we got this. This is a coral that I've always wanted. Dragon Soul. Always wanted a big old hunking piece of that. And now we got it. I even have it tilted towards where I'm at at the cash wrap. Um, I don't know if it'll stay there, but always wanted this guy. It's absolutely beautiful. It is as pretty as the pictures. And one of the uh, pink uh, trachees fell in there as well. Eventually the plan is to have, you know, this tub here, this one that we just looked at, um, filled up with a bunch of ask-priced corals, you know, and that's just going to take time and money uh, to get that accomplished. But I will say that this tub, or actually these tubs, are loaded, like, to the rim right now. To the rim. Look at that Duncan right there. That is a beast mode Duncan. One of the biggest I've seen in a while. Alvia Pora is starting to show up. You see these guys right there. It usually takes them a couple days to kind of adjust back to normal life. I gotta move that green slimer there. Um, but you can see we got some of the uh, sun and sand um, here corals that we picked up last Friday. We're re-upped on the $30 section, which is this section right here. Uh, the bird's nest looking good, doing good with the new light adjustments we have. Uh, that maze brain there, that was supposed to go into the water box as well as that piece back there, but we never did that. We got a big old hunk of that uh, Mad Hatter cap. And then this is mine trick right here, which you can't really pick, which I was told that this cap back here was mind trick. Which I don't know if there's a difference between mind trick and Jedi mind trick, uh, but right next to it I have some Jedi mind trick. And then style of four, and then we got a Raj Rampage, uh, another piece of that cap there, a little Sony, some interesting pieces right here. We got a grafted Moni, uh, we got a jack o' lantern, and a little bit further down we got some uh, of uh, Tidal Gardens Ultra. Leptos, and we got some nice suanthids there, some interesting pieces, some cool stuff going on. Oh, we gotta move that toadstool, he doesn't like that Acan very much, not Acan, the uh, Lobo. The Gornian's doing really good, and we got the, uh, right there, front and center. That is the Holy Grail torch. Some more trachies. We got this beast mode trachy right here. Some great colors in there pinks, greens, purples. The bubble tips that I got this week aren't doing too great. These two guys right there. Got a nice uh, candy cane bunch there. Wow, that Wilsonia is on point. Start to tell with the uh, 
the lights, but that's pretty awesome. Got a couple more scolies. This little bleeding apple right here looks a little bit better. And we got one that's more bleeding than apple. And the war painted, which is pretty, pretty vibrant in the reds. And we got another war paint, a couple miscellaneous mushrooms, and then uh, the bounce, Sunkiss bounce that split. Which I have a feeling that that one's going to be the next one to split right there. So, pretty cool corals in here. A lot of dollars. Lots of dollars. Go to the other side. I already shut the pumps off over there. This is our $25 section going. A lot of zoanthids. Stylos, Pavona. Some redactus. We got a tuxedo urchin doing some work. Some more beast mode Duncans. These Duncans aren't going to last long over here. I got some Superman Monty Par, which shouldn't be on this side. At least if I want to stay in business for a long time. Got some Gorgonians, which you picked up on a trade with that. They're looking pretty good. They were. I've never fragged uh, Gorgonians. I knew how to do it, and I talked with uh, a gentleman that also knows how to do it. And it was about what I thought it would be, and we did that, and that worked out pretty well. So, you know how to do that. We got that in the, that feather in our cap now. Yeah, we're pretty loaded. Lots of corals. Lots and lots of corals. Stuff's looking good. So that was the big uh, delivery. Basically, where I had kind of worked things down to the point where um, I had a lot of open space in those tanks. And by the time I got these corals in, I kind of just filled in the space. I thought I was going to end up getting moved down there. One of the things that was a little bit of a disappointment with this order is I ordered a couple of show pieces. I ordered a show piece uh, blue frog spawn which I would say is probably large maybe medium size uh, frog spawn and then kind of the same deal with the Lobo so I don't know if the selection was down or I don't know that they had a pretty big sale going on with this vendor and maybe things just got picked over and they're like yeah or I don't know it is what it is, but um, got a call from a gentleman today. From let's, let me back up. Let me back up. So my, my one of my good longtime friends comes down, checks out the shop, and he brought his other half down. And uh, she works at a pet store up north, and she was we were kind of talking about you know some of the ins and outs of this business. And she gave me the number of a company out of Massachusetts, and. Uh, they're a little bit different of a circumstance than what I've dealt with up to this point. They literally bring the fish to you. Uh, you inspect the fish. If you want it, you take it. If you don't want it, see you later. Um, and there's no, no qualms about it. So they not only do freshwater, but they also do saltwater, corals, just about everything. Invertebrates, the whole deal. So I'm a one-man army right now, and I am flighty at best so things go in things go out I forget about a lot of stuff and that just happens to be how it goes so forgot about it they called me today and we're setting up an account we're gonna try it out so if I can give business keep it on the East Coast and not have to worry about when my stuff's going to show up and they basically they deliver it to me it's going to be so much better so much better not that i'm not going to do business with everybody else because um or continue to do business with the folks that i'm doing but you know there's less risk there's less uh loss of life and that's a pretty important thing to me um and then you know I, the cost of shipping things to me and then it taking, I don't even know how long, you know, I think maybe twice out of the 
10 or so deliveries, that was just one vendor. The 10 or so deliveries that I've had from them, only twice has it actually been what I paid for, which was delivery by 10.30 the next day. Only twice, that's it, out of the 10 or so deliveries. So, if I could save money on shipping, save money on fish corals and invertebrates, that's gonna be savings for the customers. So I'm not just jacking up the price of things to jack up the price of things. If I get it cheap, I'm selling it cheap. So that's going to do it for today. Thanks so much for joining. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. Peace.